Hi, I'm Shauna Burhoff with Beard and Warner. And today I'm going to talk to you about appraisals and how our changing market conditions are impacting them. I've had a lot of questions about this lately, so I thought I should cover some of the basics. Over the past year, we've seen home prices up significantly, fueled by increased demand and low inventory of homes and low interest rates for mortgages. Sellers have been able to take advantage of that and are often receiving multiple offers with more than one qualified buyer to pick from. Our challenge right now is that if the buyer is getting a mortgage, their lender will require an appraisal to validate the home is actually worth what the buyer agreed to pay on the contract. So what is an appraisal? An appraisal is a professional analysis used to estimate the value of a home. It is done by an independent appraisal agency separate from the bank or mortgage company. There are standards of practice the appraiser must use to complete the report and it takes about five to seven days after the appraiser visits the home to get the result. The goal is to have the appraisal come back at or above contract value. In our current market, however, we are starting to see appraisals come in below the agreed upon price. So why does that happen? In a seller's market, a bidding war may have driven the price above comparable sales. Also, with a low number of homes for sale, the number of sales an appraiser has to choose from may be limited. The appraiser may not have pulled accurate comparable properties, either mistakenly or from lack of knowledge of an area. The appraiser may have done a poor evaluation of the property, failing to take upgrades, popular features, or amenities into account. An appraiser may be inexperienced or poorly trained and unfamiliar with the distinctions within the local market, such as being in a desirable school district or a walk to town location. So what are your options if the appraisal comes in low? Well, it depends whether you are the buyer or the seller and the options available to you. As a buyer, if you really want the home and it's a competitive market and have access to more cash, you can make up the difference between the appraised value and contract value. If you don't have the entire amount in cash, you could talk to your lender about a lower down payment. If the market isn't as competitive, you could ask the seller to negotiate down to the appraised value or somewhere in between. Before you make that move, you should have your agent review the appraisal report for errors or omissions of data that could have demonstrated higher value. As the seller, you should definitely have your agent review the appraisal report if the buyer is willing to provide it. It is possible to appeal the appraisal if there is a good case for it. Personally, I was just able to save and successfully rebut two appeals, one saving my seller over $38,000. It does take a lot of commitment and attention to detail, and it's not easy, but it can be done. And if all else fails, you may decide you're gonna cancel the contract and hope for a better outcome with the next buyer. Having an agent who understands not only the market, but the process for appraisals and appeals is critical. Some of the ways they can help you ensure a successful appraisal include doing homework up front, knowing what you're up against if there are low comp comparables or few comparables, meet the appraiser, a face-to-face -face meeting to review the comparables and details of the home, and even the background of the offer is a must. Your agent can help identify off-market sales that the appraiser may have missed. Knowing not only the good comps, but the bad and ugly ones too is equally important. An appraiser has likely not been inside the other homes, they are just using photos and don't know that it had water issues or bad smells like your agent might. The agent can attest to market conditions and show proof of multiple offers. If you're buying or selling a home, most likely an appraisal will be involved and can be a vital part of making the deal successful. Contact me with questions or more about how to make the most of your home's value and appraisal.